This is the 2024 Yamaha R7, and today we're going to give it our first impressions. Starting with the looks, this is a very sporty and aggressive looking bike. Not what I prefer, but it looks like every other sport bike on the market. One thing I noticed right away is that the mirrors are kicked out in front on the fairing, and the actual mirror itself is a really good size. The handlebars look very low. Looks like I'm going to have to lean forward quite a bit. Not my favorite seating position. The dash does seem to be a little bit blocked by some of the cords here and this reservoir when you turn left. The foot pegs, rider and passenger, neither of those have rubber on them at all. The shifting lever and the front back brake lever both look like they're very good size, and very usable. The passenger seat, very small. My hand can cover just about the whole thing. The rider seat is fairly large. Looks like it should be comfortable. And the foot pegs do seem like they're pretty high up. So we'll see how cramped my legs are during the ride. I am six foot four for reference and I can obviously flat foot this bike very easily. Definitely leaning forward more than I prefer. This will probably hurt my wrist if we go for 15 or 20 minutes. I never ride like this. The dash display is nice. It has four big things that stand out. The gear indicator, RPMs, miles per hour, and the fuel gauge. This bike has a price tag right on it of $9,200, which seems Pretty competitive when you think about sport bikes in that market. There's a lot of options and I've only heard good things about the R7 so far. So far the seat is already getting uncomfortable so I'm not really excited to go on a 20 minute ride. All right, let's see how this thing rides. All right, we just finished up the test ride of the Yamaha R7 right behind us. This is a different R7 but it's the same exact bike. And there are no riding modes in this bike. Unfortunately, Yamaha does not allow filming during the test ride so i was not able to get any footage while riding but my thoughts on the r7 first thing is it's slower than i thought a lot slower than i thought i thought i was going to be able to rip on this bike and uh it's just not it wasn't there so i was very surprised at that kind of disappointed and i'm not a sport bike rider so slow for me is kind of slow <laughs> and um more comfortable than i was expecting not as it was very sporty compared to what i'm used to riding but it wasn't overly sporty for this you know 25 30 minute test ride my wrist didn't really hurt as like i was expecting them to i was expecting them to soar from putting all the pressure on them from sport bikes but it wasn't it was fine uh, the seat was more comfortable than i thought during the ride once you, my legs were up the seat became more comfortable I wasn't that cramped, even though I am six foot four. I wasn't that cramped at all. Uh, there is the dash is fine. A little bit hard to read since it is a negative display, black background, with white um, numbers and symbols and stuff. So it's a little tough to read in the bright sun, but not a huge deal. Overall, it was okay. I wish it had more pull. They say it makes power down low and in the middle, but that's where I was pulling in first and second, especially, uh, they just didn't have anything to give. Didn't really feel exhilarating at all. Engine sounded weird. Um, not my favorite ride. It's priced reasonably for a sport bike, it seems around nine grand, but I still wouldn't buy one. Sport bikes aren't my thing, and if I was gonna get one, I would want to feel fast, and this didn't make me feel fast. So take it for what it is. If you want to see me on a naked sport bike that I really love, check out this video right here of the Kawasaki Z900. And if you want to see me test ride a bunch of different bikes, brands, models, and sizes, check out this playlist right here. Rapping when they own me to sing. Still they cool. they all want an album, so I gave them 20 singles. Yeah, I'm trying to get a hit, that's why I swing.